alpha lipoic acid. And this activates NAMPT, but via a slightly different pathway. So what alpha lipoic acid does is it actually activates an energy sensor in the cell called AMPK. And what AMPK does is it signals if the cell's in a bit of energy stress. And if it is in energy stress, what it does is it goes, oh, we need to switch on NAD production. So it sets off a series of reactions that basically lead to increased levels of NAMPT to increase NAD in the cell. And AMP, um, alpha lipoic acid actually activates AMPK. And the really interesting thing about that is it's that this exact pathway is activated by both exercise, calorie restriction, fasting, all things that are shown to promote cellular health and health span and lifespan in some cases. Um, and it's known that a lot of the beneficial effects of these things are by increased NAD production. Because again, if you think about it, the reason our, our bodies are increasing NAD is that they've sensed this energy stress from the exercise or the fasting. Our body's setting off a reaction saying, we need to survive this stress. How do we do it? We increase NAD. Uh, we tell us, give the mitochondria more NAD to keep producing its own energy. Uh, we have NAD as a signal molecule to increase maintenance and repair and recycling so that we can get the cells through this period of no nutrients and energy stress. Um, so yeah, that's that's a natural way of, of boosting levels of that enzyme. But obviously we're using a molecule to actually do that. ALA is a really interesting one. So, you know, it's something that you do come across frequently in the, in the longevity space um, as a, you know, a, an antioxidant as well. Um, and you've got to be really careful with ALA because um, in, in terms of what, what form that you use. So there's two different isomers. You've got an R and an S version. Um, and quite often, if you look in products, they'll have the S, which is like the synthetic. And when you look at all the data, that does absolutely nothing in the body. It doesn't work at all. Um, at best, you'll get a 50-50 mix of R and S forms. Um, so again, you're kind of paying for half of it. That doesn't do anything. So I was really keen with our product that we only use R ALA. So it's only the form that we know actually works. Um, and ALA is, is, you know, it's one of these molecules that acts on many different pathways in the body. And a, another way that we know that it increases NAD is it actually activates a pathway or an enzyme called NQ01. Um, and NQ01, um, what that does is it converts NADH to NAD+. So NAD is a redox molecule. Um, well, NADH um, and NAD plus are the reduced and the oxidized forms, and it flips between those constantly. But what you tend to find is that in older cells, it favors more towards NADH, and that's not good. You want it more towards NAD plus. So what this enzyme does is it basically flips NADH to NAD plus. So you rebalance um, the, the more favorable ratio of NAD plus to NADH. So ALA acts as kind of a dual purpose. 